Hi, welcome in, Grace. Let's go to God's word here. How priceless is your unfailing love. Both high and low among men find refuge in the shadow of your wings. Psalm 36, verse 7. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Psalm 34, verses 4 to 5. The Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. Zephaniah 3, verse 17. I comprehend you in all your complexity. I understand you with absolute accuracy. No detail of your life is hidden from me. Yet you need not be afraid of my intimate awareness because I view you through eyes of grace. Were I to look at you otherwise, through eyes of the law rather than eyes of grace, it could be terrifying to you. Unfortunately, you often view yourself that way, legalistically evaluating how well you're performing. When you think about it, you realize how silly that is because your performance will never be sufficient to meet my holy standard. Instead of focusing on your performance, come to me and receive my unfailing love. You are troubled by fear of failure, but my love for you will never fail. Here is what I see as I view you through eyes of grace. You look regal, for I have clothed you in my royal righteousness. You are radiant, especially when you are gazing at me. You look lovely as you reflect my glory back to me. In fact, you delight me so much that I rejoice over you with shouts of joy. Because I am infinite, I can see you simultaneously as you are now and as you will be in heaven. The present view helps me work with you on things you need to change. The heavenly vision enables me to love you with perfect everlasting love. The best way to see through eyes of grace is to gaze through the lens of my unfailing love. As you persevere in this practice, you will gradually find it easier to extend grace both to yourself and to others.